Hello everybody and welcome to Skirt Garage. My name is Connor and today we're gonna to be talking a little bit more about my beloved 2015 Jaguar F-Type R and specifically the tuning process I went through with Velocity AP. We're gonna talk a lot about their customer care, how that whole scenario went down. We will then talk specifically about the issue I had with this 2015 F-Type R when I put the Stage 2 kit on the car and then we'll move on to the data logging process. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it and if it's something you guys should consider buying when you're going to upgrade or tune your F-Type. So without further ado, let's get started. And if you guys are stopping by for the first time, please don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up, a nice positive comment, especially if you guys like learning more about the F-Type platform on a whole, maybe a BMW E30 wagon you could see off in the distance, Anything in between, I like doing DIY instructional videos, drag races, and a whole lot of fun. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, first things first, I would like to give a massive thank you to Velocity AP. I've dealt with a lot of other tuning companies and a lot of other aftermarket companies just in general, and Velocity has probably been the best one I've worked with yet, and here's why. When I swapped out the pulley on this car, the crank pulley itself, that's a pretty invasive procedure, and when I came back to them and said, hey guys, I'm having some issues, uh, at no point in time did they ever try to put the blame back on me, saying, did you install it right? Did you do this right? Did you do that right? Instead, they said, okay, you have an issue? Well, let's go ahead and work through it. You know, they're very uh, sweet, they're very nice, congenial people, and I really appreciated that. And not only that, but the lead technician over there, the tuning specialist, his name is Chris. Before being the tuning specialist over at Velocity AP, he was a lead technician at uh, JLR, Jaguar uh, Land Rover, for about 15 years. And so that man knows a lot. It's really not very often when I talk to somebody on the phone or we're talking about uh, specifics with cars or I have to say, hey, hang on, what did you just say? Can you explain that again? But I had to quite a bit with him because the dark side of tuning, you know, all the little parameters and details that go into air fuel ratios and how they all mash up together, I wasn't aware of that. And he was really great at teaching me, uh, showing me what was the actual root cause of the issue, finding it out for me, and overall being very easy to work with. So again, very cool experience working with them. If you guys are on the fence, don't be worried at all. Their staff will definitely take care of you. Okay, now let's talk real quick about the specific issue I was having. Well, if you guys remember, I made a video that said 10 specific things that only an F-Type owner would know. In that video, I showed you guys the software that was on my car, the software that enabled me to have very loud crackles and burbles and overrun on the exhaust. And a lot of you guys reached out and said, hey, my software is different, is that an issue? And I don't know, and the reality is, so many of you guys sent me your own software that I realized that the software for each individual car is different based on the year, based on the all-wheel drive versus rear-wheel drive, based on a lot of different parameters, including the sort of um, nav that you have within your center console. So there's a lot of variables, and it turns out that one of those variables is specific to my car, a 2015 rear-wheel drive F-Type. One of the softwares available has this patch in it that basically when the catalytic converters get pretty hot, it leans out the air fuel ratio and it leans it out in order to kind of preserve it. And what happens is when it gets too lean, especially with all this extra boost that I'm having, it end up pulling back timing to prevent uh, knock and pre-detonation. And that's when I was getting that big stutter up top around 6,000 RPM. Uh, the really cool thing is Chris was able to find that on a uh, data log that I sent him. And when he found that that was the root cause, he was able to fix it, uh, remove that little patch, make sure that the air fuel ratio was golden all the way through, all the way through the gears. And with that fix, the car is running perfect. It is honestly shockingly fast. Now, when I take off, it, it literally doesn't feel like the same car. It feels like... Honestly, it feels like a supercar, and it's really, really impressive. Again, that's the little problem I had, and that's how we got it fixed. 
Okay, now we're gonna talk about if you guys should get a data logger and the process that you go through to log it and to send it off to have them check the parameters on there. First things first, my recommendation is that you guys should get a data logger if anything is different about your car. So for example, if you have uh, intakes that are different, if you have downpipes, if you have new spark plugs that are gapped different, if you have anything that doesn't make your car completely plain Jane stock out of the factory, I do believe that you should get a data logger. And here's why. The logger itself can plot your uh, ignition, your, your timing, your fuel ratios, your air ratios. It can time and put all those parameters into a nice Excel spreadsheet for the tuning specialist to look at. And basically what he can do is make sure that your car, your F-Type, is running at its peak potential and that nothing is going on. For example, it's not running too lean or too rich. My car was running too lean. He found that really quick. We were able to make a nice adjustment and now the car performs flawlessly. So again, if your car is not uh, completely stock or completely uh, normal, I would recommend that you go ahead and you get a data logger because uh, before you even start this tuning process, you send him your stock ECU and then he takes that stock ECU to make your tuned file. So it's not like a blanket, every single car gets the exact same tune. It's very uh, tailored, like a nice tailored suit. Okay, that's my recommendation for the data logger. Let's move on to the process of logging your car. Well, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is buy the cable from Velocity AP. Once you buy that cable, they send it to you along with a PDF. That PDF file shows you what link to go to to download the software. You download that software and then your computer is tagged with a specific code. That code you send to Velocity AP. They send you back a license. You activate that license and then you just walk out to your car and you plug it in and hit log. It's really pretty simple and it's kind of funny, you know, I was driving around uh, waiting to do these pulls so I can log the data and during the pulls, I have to admit it, I definitely felt like Brian O'Connor in Fast and the Furious. So that was pretty fun and it was cool to learn and see how all that takes place, what it looks like on a graph. And yeah, really pretty simple. You can name the file, whatever, send it off to Velocity AP. They will then send you back a revised tune uh, if they have to, or if they say everything's in the clear, you're good to go, then you're good to go. And that's kind of how that whole process works. Okay, before I close this video up, it is time to talk about the fun stuff. Specifically, what I'm going to do with this very powerful F-Type R. Well, I have a lot of plans. I haven't done any drag races in the last few weeks, and it's time we change that. I've got some cars I'm lining up to do some drag races with, and of course, if I can schedule some time to get back on the dyno, I know a lot of you guys want to see that, so I will be doing that. My only regret is when I did that dyno video, it was like 90 degrees or 80 degrees or something like that, and right now it's like 55 or 60, so the ambient temperature will be different, but I don't think it will matter too much because the, the car is just on a different level of speed right now. So I'm really excited to see that. I hope you guys are as well. If you want to see that, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a positive comment down below. I'm always trying to talk to you guys, communicate, help you with whatever I can. You guys are the best. Have a great day and we will see you on the next video. Peace.